Andrew Yang, on his podcast, spoke to a woman by the name of Ariana Peccary, and um, she is a former MSNBC producer, and she's really, really giving people some hard truth at the moment. So this is from something I tweeted here last night. Former MSNBC producer and now whistleblower confirming the network ignored certain Democratic primary candidates on purpose as a matter of policy. And you can see her tweet here. Actually, I just reviewed my journal on... April 25th, 2019, I was told that we were never to pursue Andrew for an interview on our show, along with several others. The list of candidates was dictated, but the reasons for allowing them or not were not explained. The first thing this should remind you of is what happened in 2016 with Bernie Sanders' presidential run. Ed Schultz had something all planned out where they were going to do the launch of Bernie Sanders' campaign on his show. He was going to announce his campaign on, on a special show with Ed Schultz, a special, I believe it was in Burlington, Vermont, with Bernie and his family. It's going to be an hour long of all Bernie, why he's running, and all that stuff. And Ed Schultz got an angry phone call from the head of MSNBC. And they said, no, you, you're not doing this. You're not doing this show. You're not covering it. You're not covering his launch. So, this is what we're dealing with. It was out in the open. It was out in the open. And now you know, former MSNBC, MSNBC producer, now a whistleblower, was saying, actually, yeah, this is exactly how it worked. We were told, you don't touch certain candidates. You stay away from certain candidates. Now, we can get into the conversation of why they said this. Like, we could speculate as to why it is. Oh, they threaten the establishment the most. Certainly possible. Or it could just be something as simple as, we don't view them as the serious candidates. We think that it's basically a vanity project that they're running to try to, you know, make their name bigger or whatever. So that's why we don't cover them. But either way, what they're doing here is completely unethical, and it's wrong. It's not up to you to determine who is and isn't serious, who is and isn't acceptable, who does and doesn't have a chance. It's not up to you. It's up to the American people. It's your job to give them a fair hearing. And what we're learning here is they absolutely did not do that. They absolutely did not do that. They did not give Andrew Yang a fair hearing. If I had to guess, the other people that were on that list, Marianne Williamson, didn't get a fair hearing. Bernie was in a, an interesting situation because he got this treatment in 2016, clearly. In 2020, the media still hated him and went after him, but they did give him more coverage because it was clear he was going to be a serious contender because he came this close to winning in 2016. If they didn't steal from him, he would have won. So Bernie was in an interesting category of just despised by them, but he still got coverage, but he was despised. People like Andrew Yang and Marianne Williamson were just, they weren't covered. They actively tried to bury their campaigns. And so honestly, it's a miracle that somebody like Andrew became as popular as he did, given all of the, you know, institutional hurdles and barriers in his way. So he deserves a tremendous amount of credit for sort of breaking through and being a compelling enough candidate where he got a lot of support even though the entire media establishment was basically trying to destroy him. So, listen, man, I don't know how else to say this. They're dishonest. MSNBC, all the corporate media outlets, they're dishonest. They're dishonest. They have their narratives while they pretend to be objective and neutral and above the fray and serious. In a weird way, they're the least serious. You get a lot more policy talk on this YouTube show from one loudmouth idiot than you do on all of corporate media. But credit to this whistleblower, Ariana Peccary. I mean, she really did a great thing here. And I'm sure she has some more crazy stories. So definitely check out that podcast with Andrew Yang to get more details.